Michael May has just undergone radical surgery to repair his eyes, which were blinded in a childhood accident. His hope is that when the bandages come off, he will be able to see again for the first time in 40 years. I didn't expect anything to happen for at least a couple of weeks. So to go into that room and have the bandages peeled back, and then to actually see light coming in, was more than words can really describe. All of a sudden, there's the overwhelming whoosh of visual input. Things resolving into colors and shapes, images whooshing everywhere. Thanks to his new corneas, light can now reach the retina at the back of Michael's eyes, and they are working normally once again. First thing you should see is your wife. But there's a problem. After 40 years in the dark, Michael's brain cannot compute what he's looking at. His condition results from an operation he had to restore the sight he lost in an accident when he was just three years old. The experimental procedure involved replacing the part of the eye destroyed in the accident, the cornea. This clear, paper-thin coating protects the eye and helps it focus. It was hoped that replacing Michael's ruined corneas would restore his eyes and allow him to see for the first time in 40 years. But he awoke to find that though his eyes were completely repaired, he still could not see. I was trying to latch on to images and make sense of the world. It wasn't as though I saw a face and said, oh, that's a smile automatically. I had to intellectualize this whole process, dissect it, and then figure it out. What Michael May doesn't have that most of us do is a visual database of the world around us. We're not born with this visual information. We have to accumulate it through experience. At birth, we have 1 40th of the detail in our sight that we finally achieve. At the back of the brain, 200 million neurons make up our visual cortex, the central processor for vision. Throughout childhood, most of us collect images from a visual database that form our understanding of the way the world looks for the rest of our lives. The interpretation and therefore the recognition of certain things takes a tremendous amount of experience. In this sense, the brain is learning to see. And this is taking place over the first six years, or to a smaller extent, even the first nine years. But Michael stopped that learning when he was blinded at age three. Even walking down a street is a challenge, since his visual database never had the chance to develop. The world his eyes now see remains outside his tiny visual vocabulary. <laughs> 